Hatta. Um, Stephanie Wilkerson, scene one, take one. I'm Stephanie Wilkerson, and I am the owner, creator, and designer behind Archetype Collective, which is a jewelry company in Sheridan, Wyoming. I started making jewelry because I love funky things, and what I wanted to wear wasn't necessarily in store, so I started making it. I just wanted to be doing something with my hands. It was a bunch of beading. I used a lot of crystals and stones and rocks from just being inspired from them, and was very frustrated with the fact that I was limited in what I could make. But one day I was at a little pop-up show selling my crystal jewelry, and this uh, younger girl comes up and buys this huge necklace, like just crystals everywhere. So I knew that we were going to be friends. <laughs> and we got to talking, and she actually had a degree in metalsmithing. And so I begged her to teach me, because I was just dying to make things completely from start to finish. And so she began teaching me. Um, and I had about four lessons, just kind of back to back, making pieces of jewelry that I had designed, and I was hooked. So once I really um, felt like my skills as a metalsmith had grown enough where I could actually sell my pieces, I knew I needed a name. I knew I needed a brand and a business, and that was a really hard decision for me. I remember driving around in my car and just jotting down notes, and um, things would pop up in my head as I'm shopping or walking around or chatting with family, and I finally came up with a few things. I know I wanted my brand to be something that signified being original. So I was tired of using components from other people. I wanted it to be completely original to what I was inspired to design. Um, so I knew I wanted that in my title. And I also knew that my creative heart will probably want to continue to expand, whether it's in different areas of jewelry or different areas of art. And so I wanted the name to also allow me to grow as an artist. So the word archetype came up. And um, one of the definitions of archetype is an original, things that copies are made after. And I loved that. You know, I strive to make everything original. What's really great about metalsmithing is that even if I make the same earring style, every single piece is different. It has a story behind it. Every stamp mark I make, every hammer mark that's made is completely original to that piece. Every stone has its own lines and story and origin that's completely different. Um, and the second part of my brand is called Collective because I am a multifaceted creative and I wanted an umbrella for all of my creative endeavors to fall under. Growing up, um, I was introduced to music at a very young age. Stephanie, are you going to sing tonight? Before jewelry sing? became my focal point, theater actually became my career. Uh, did it professionally in Kansas City for many years and traveled and did theater. Um, whether it was songwriting and writing, composing music for theatrical shows, or actually being on stage and performing. That was what my outlet was. Meanwhile, I was still making jewelry for myself. I just never, never imagined it actually turning into a career. Look at mom. I always loved rocks. Hey, I don't exactly know when Stop it started. It. I think I love that something beautiful can be found in nature in its original form. I think what is so inspiring about being in Sheridan, which we didn't really understand until we were here, and we were living in this gorgeous area, is that we're surrounded by nature's beauty. There were a few times um, in the beginning where I was wondering if it was worth all of my time and all of my effort. Because it does take a lot of time. I mean, it can take eight to 10 hours to make a single piece. And when you're just learning, it takes a lot more because every step of the way, you know, there's a curveball. 
When you, you don't have all the techniques in your toolbox, it's stressful and it feels like you're never gonna get to the end of the piece. And it also feels like when you get there, maybe it's not worth selling. Um, you know, will they like it? Is it something they're gonna be willing to wear and to pay for and appreciate how much work has gone into this? So that can be overwhelming. It was, I think that's why I didn't make it my full-time job for a long time, was that fear of, is it, is it good? There's no instant gratification. The satisfaction comes from knowing that you just took this long journey through that whole process to make this beautiful piece that someone is gonna cherish and love. Some advice that I would give aspiring artists or even just entrepreneurs uh, is something I try to remind myself every day, that creativity is not a competition. You know, as artists, we're always comparing ourselves to someone else. And so I would encourage anyone to just let go of that. And in that, your creativity is going to blossom and you will see yourself start to succeed in ways you never imagined because you're no longer limited.